Okay, let's look at expanding algebraic equations. Now, they who think maths is really crucial to life after college may give you problems like these to solve. So I've got a sample of problems here and let's look at them. Now in the first case, you might have something like a little term hanging outside a bracket and there's a little party going inside the bracket, a little addition or subtraction party going in there. And that's the simplest form of the problem you may be asked to solve. And um, the next one, let's look at the next one. The next one is two sets of brackets pushing against each other. And they have their own little addition or subtraction party going in there. Then they might make it even more harder and give you something like three brackets pushing against each other. Having an addition or subtraction party going in there. Now when they ask you to expand them, what they mean is get rid of the brackets. Just get rid of the brackets and write down your answer in the form of something plus or minus something plus or minus something and definitely no brackets. Okay, so let's get started with the simplest one. So in this case, all you have to simply do is take whatever's there outside the bracket and multiply it with each of the terms inside the bracket. No. So let's take 4x and multiply it with x. And you should get 4x squared. So that's the first one. And then next you take 4x and multiply it with 3. And the answer is not 12, but 12x. Don't forget there's an x with a 4. And that's your first easiest type of expanding problem solved. Okay, let's look at the second problem. We have two sets of brackets with stuff happening inside the brackets. Addition in this case. Okay, in this case, you take each of the terms in the first bracket and multiply it with each of the terms in the next bracket. So you take x squared. We're going to multiply it with x. We'll take x squared, multiply it with 2, and we'll take 6, multiply it with x, and then take 6 and multiply it with 2. So let's get started. So x squared multiplied by x should give us x cubed. And if you don't know how to do that, you need to go back and study your algebra multiplication stuff from last year, my friend. Okay. Next, you take x squared and you multiply it with 2. So that should give us 2x. Then we're finished with the x squared. We move on to the 6. And 6 multiplied by x is 6x. And then finally, 6 multiplied by 2 is simply 12. So x squared multiplied by x gives you x cubed and x squared multiplied by 2. Oh, this shouldn't give you 2x, but this should actually be 2x squared. And then 6 multiplied by x gives you 6x and then 6 multiplied by 2 gives you 12. And that's our second problem solved there. And we have no more brackets, just things standing on their own with a plus or minus sign between them. Okay, let's look at the third case. Now here we have three sets of brackets, but we won't be doing anything new. We'll just be doing the same thing, but step by step. First, we'll do the first two brackets, and then we'll put that whole thing inside a bracket and multiply it with the last bracket. So this is going to be long and painful. Let's get started. Now, take x, multiply it with this x here, that should give us x squared. Next you take x, multiply it with minus 3 and that should give you minus 3x. Then you take, we're done with the x, we take 1 and then merge it with these two. So 1 multiplied by x should just give you x and then plus 1 multiplied by minus 3 which gives you 
minus 3. So be careful here with the signs. Now, so that's the first bit done and we can simplify it a bit in the sense that we can add these two together using algebraic rules and minus 3x plus x which is essentially 1x becomes minus 2x. So we go x squared minus 3x plus 1 is minus 2x minus 3. Put that all inside a bracket because next we are going to multiply that whole thing with x minus 5. Remember we'll take each of the terms and it's going to be long and painful but we have to do it each of the terms and multiply it with each of the terms here. Let's see what we get. So first x squared with x should give us x cubed. Next we get x squared multiply it with a minus 5 and we should get minus 5x squared. So be careful with your x squared and your x's and your signs. Next you take minus 2x, multiply it with x, we get minus 2x squared. Then we take minus 2x, multiply it with minus 5 and guess what? This time we get plus 10. And not just plus 10 but plus 10x. Remember there's an x with a 2. And in this case, the minus multiplied with the minus gives you a plus. So that's, mi that's minus 2x multiplied with the 5 all done. And then finally, we take the minus 3 and multiply it with x minus 5. We get minus 3x minus 3x. And finally, minus 3 multiplied by minus 5, which is plus, plus, plus 15. Okay, now our answer is long as. And what um, they like us to do is to simplify it. So let's use some algebraic rules and see what we can find some like terms, things that look similar, and we can add or subtract them to make this equation look smaller. First of all, we have only one x cubed, so we'll leave that like that as x cubed. And then we have minus x squared and minus 2x squared, minus 5x squared and minus 2x squared, and that should give us minus 7x squared. So minus 7x squared. And then we have 10x minus 3x, that should give us plus 7x. Then finally, we've got the number 15 and we just put it there like that. So the end, that's our last one solved. So you see that we don't do anything different, we just do it step by step. First you get rid of these first two brackets by um, multiplying into each other term by term and then you do the next one and then finally you try and simplify it as far as you can to give your last answer not too difficult I hope I know you can do it your teenagers are invincible you can do it Next minute.